Hi friends, welcome to my channel Phylab. Today, I would be discussing with you all ISC Physics Paper 2 dealing with Physics Practical. In ISC Paper 2 Physics, we have got two practicals, one from optics, another from electricity. Optics generally can have single lens as well as double lens while electricity can have potentiometer or meter bridge based on Wheatstone principle. Today I'm not going to discuss how these practicals are to be conducted or to be performed but my focus will be on the factor how one should go for drawing the graph. While drawing the graph, the following things must be taken into account. The graph generally carries a weightage of 5 marks. And is dependent upon three main factors. First, G1 is allotted to the child or the candidate if he is clearly able to mention title, scale, label and origin of the graph. So don't forget to mention the title of the graph. For example, the title of the graph may be a graph of V against you or a graph of optics experiment, a graph of electricity experiment or even a graph of voltage against current or V against I. So such type of titles must be mentioned on the top of the graph. Next, second thing uh, candidates or learners most of the time do a big mistakes while mentioning the axes. The axes of the graph must be properly labeled with units. For example, if you are drawing the y-axis which stands for voltage of the graph or voltage of your experiment that you have measured, so your y-axis label must be v, v rather than the y-axis itself. I hope that is clear. In the next or in the final end when we are going to see the graph, I will become more specific what I was trying to tell you. So don't forget to mention the title of the graph and label of the axes. Uh, one should definitely mention the scale of the graph on the top right portion of your graph sheet and it must be mentioned on x-axis 10 divisions is equals to whatsoever the things you are plotting on the x-axis. Let's say if you are plotting u so you should mention on x-axis 10 division must be u whatsoever 2, 4, 5 whatsoever the scale you have got 2 in centimeter. Similarly, the y-axis must also be mentioned. Do not forget to mention the proper unit of measurement. It, for length, it has to be in centimeter. For voltage, if it is there, it must be in volt. If it's current, it must be in ampere. Now, while taking the units, do not forget that multiples of 3 and 7 must definitely be avoided. You can take a multiple of 2, 5, 10, all these multiples are acceptable, but the multiples of 3 and 7 must be avoided. Chosen scale of the graph must be uniform, though they may be different for different axes. So it can be different for different axes. Please take care of this part. It can vary for axes. Marking of the origin. Now, the origin should not just be mentioned as O. It should be mentioned with its proper coordinates. It not necessarily be 0, 0. Kings are not allowed in ISC physics paper 2. Please take care. You should not draw any kings. 
if you are supposed to read the intercepts from the graph then the origin of the graph necessarily has to be 0 comma 0 that is a very important point that one should take care how you should put the plots that is g2 i told you t1 was uh, sorry g1 was there for mentioning the title scale label origin on the graph the second marks that is g2 you get for plotting the graphs the plots must be from your observation table you should clearly put a dot and then encircle that dot plot should not be a blob a, a, you put a pencil and keeps keeps holding on to it it makes a blob you should just simply put a dot and encircle it now the plots must occupy three-fourths of the graph sheets almost 75 percent that makes of the graph paper if not 70 percent you can take the 60 percent of the graph paper if intercepts are not to be read i again repeat if intercepts are not to be read please take care of this point it is necessary that your plot should occupy 75 percent of the graph sheet now if the slopes are required you can take any origin now but in that case the 75 percent or the 60 percent of graph sheet must be occupied if you are reading the intercepts either y-axis or x-axis it is necessary that the origin has to be 0 comma 0 but over there you are given the leverage the plots may not occupy 60 percent of the graph sheet graph is plotted always y against x so y axis against x axis so if the question paper says p against q remember the p goes on the q, y axis while the q goes on the x axis that was for the g2 so now again repeating g1 for title scale label origin g2 for getting the plots correctly marked on the graph sheet now you get the third marks that happens to be g3 for drawing a best fit line now that is one of the biggest confusion most of the candidates have what exactly we mean by a best fit line now best fit line is a line or a smooth curve which passes closely through all the plotted points okay it may or may not cross through any of these points the scattered point must lie equally on either sides of the best fit line probably if you have done regression so you know the perpendicular distance of of the scattered point must lie equally on the sides of the line that you have plotted line of best fit okay the line or a curve has to be a thin uniform line and it must be extended well beyond the plotted points now most of the candidates forget this point they did simply make the line just start the line from one point and they terminate at the second point now that is where it is wrong the plot the line must cross must go beyond the plotted points if possible they can they should cut the axis if possible okay and if not possible for them to cut the axis to so make sure that you are ending it with the arrowheads can you see over here this point arrowheads the line must end then in that case with the arrowheads as i told you the plots of best fit line must occupy the three-fourths or 60 percent of the graph sheet provided the slope is to be calculated if intercepts are to be calculated origin has to be zero comma zero and this then in that situation is no longer required 60 percent rule now if you are supposed to take if you are supposed to read the slope choose any two points s1 and s2 well separated from each other sorry dear well separated from each other and this separation must almost be half of the length of the line now that is to be there half of the length of the line s1 and s2 must lie on the best fit line and must not be the points of observation table they must not be the point of observation table i would like you to take care they must not be the point of observation table now s1 and s2 coordinates must be marked on the graph clearly with the coordinates mentioned and probably and probably let's see if it is possible for you 
to highlight this point like this, do that. If you have been asked to read the intercept, mark the intercepts clearly on the graph. Okay, do mention those coordinates of those intercepts. Don't forget to mention the sign and the unit if any you are getting with the slope. And this slope must be calculated correct up to 3 SF. It should be correct up to 3 significant figures. Take care of these points guys. And I'm sure you are going to rock your practical examination. Thank you guys presently for this much. Or review whatsoever I have told you with a sample graph so uh, I'm, I'm about to show you one of the sample graph of a candidate over here you can see it's a graph of Q against P so Q goes on to the y-axis while P goes on to the x-axis and just a quick revision of what I told you there were the three basic areas where you can gain the marks one is awarded for title scale label and origin that is g1 another one was for plots from the observation table that gives you g2 and the third one is for the best drawing the best fit line and that is for marked over here as g3 so let's see has the child mentioned the title of the graph it's missing definitely that is the area where he's about to lose the g1 marks so the title of the graph must be there maybe a graph of v against u or something like that then the title after title it should carry the scale the child has very clearly mentioned that the scale 10 divisions on the x-axis is equals to 1 centimeter inverse so you can see these 10 divisions corresponds to 1 centimeter inverse and then on the y-axis the child again goes and mentioned that the 10 division is equals to 1 centimeter inverse so you can see over here the child has mentioned those 10 division is equals to 1 centimeter inverse then comes the labeling of the axis you can see the child has mentioned the labelings very clearly what is on the x-axis he has said p is equals to 100 upon u followed with its unit similarly on the y-axis you can see the child has mentioned q is equals to 100 upon u 100 upon v centimeter inverse so all those points are very clearly been mentioned over here then comes the plots you must notice the child has shown the plots very clearly he has taken these plots from the observation table encircled it with or without mentioning the coordinates that's up to you whether you are mentioning the coordinates or not now on the axis the kings must not be marked origin must be clearly labeled it must be 0 comma 0 if you are about to read the intercepts this question definitely suggests that the intercepts are to be read so the child has marked the origin as 0 comma 0 if it was the slope it could have been any origin but in that case the plots must have occupied the 70 five percent of the graph sheet but here since you are needed to read the intercepts so this condition of 75 percent is not required and that's the reason why you can see the graph occupies only this much area now the graph occupies this much area only another very important aspect is that while taking the scale of the graphs ensure that the multiples of 3 and 7 must be clearly avoided now the intercepts are read are to be read the child has read the intercept it should have been marked on the graph the child missed out this thing without marking that's the mistake he has done similarly the child must have marked this coordinates of q intercepts also that is it should be highlighted anyway it's not highlighted he has simply written the marked those things that's that was perfectly all right for the child so this was all with the graph plotting I hope you would have learned something out of this and you would do better with your examination. Thank you friends.